if you're all going to red carpet events to praise women and you're telling everyone how wonderful Mona Van is and you're showing up with Kim Kardashian and you're partying with Michael Rubin with the dude from the Patriots and I'm talking about the owner and you all smile with your big smiles and we're working our nine to five jobs. Do you think we actually give a shit about you? Now that's what you want us that's what you want to think in your brain. But if it was a choice between you and me, I would definitely choose me. If it was if I had to make a choice between you and my dog, I would choose my dog. If I had to choose between you and me, I would choose me. That's the saying, I choose me. No, this is different. No, this is life or death. If I had to choose you or me to live, I'm going to choose me. This isn't about a narcissistic relationship. I choose me is a form of narcissism. The conversations these women are producing on content platform is narcissism. Everything about their conversation around a relationship with you as the man is narcissism. They're all hiding the truth of what's actually going on, making themselves the victims, and then spewing out nonsense about joy and happiness. A band-aid that eventually is going to be ripped off And it's already starting to, to enter into your pain, your pain memories. Everything about Monavan in the last five years has been nothing but utter despair and pain. And she tried to hide it with whitewashing you as audience and herself. Although I ensured her that she was not going to forget the pain that she's tried to put me through. I was going to talk about it and work through it as it was happening. And she was going to hold it in her gut and in her chest and in her legs and in her back and in her shoulders and in her face and in her hair and in her teeth. And in her smile that she gives you. And I was very clear that I was doing that when I was expressing the conversations around how disgusting, despicable, and disgraceful that she is in everything that she produces and in everything that she says. Because unlike most of you, I'm not afraid of her. I'm not afraid of women like her. They tried to get me to be afraid of them. They tried to get me to be their friend even. We're never going to be even. Because you affected 40 million people. The 5 million I don't like. And I'm even questioning the 40. But even your stamp of nasty energy that you've produced just by existing has affected many, many people that had potential to do good things for the world and now they're rotten zombies. And that's a big concern. The other thing that we wanna bring into awareness is the Kamala Harris and how everything about her is a cover-up of a coup, a misguided direction of a bunch of narcissists, who aren't understanding what communi communism is, which is narcissism. All stemming from Obama, which is what? Kamala Harris pointing at Obama. And then Obama's gonna point it back onto Kamala Harris. 
And then Kamala Harris is going to say, I'm not Joe Biden, but she'll point it at Joe Biden. And then Joe Biden will wear a MAGA hat to say, I'm on Trump's side. All covering up the fact that you need to close the effing border and do right by the American people. Yet none of these people are willing to hold themselves accountable or take responsibility for the failing nation called the United States of America. So instead they sugarcoat it with joy and happiness. So you're going to sugarcoat it all and smile while I'm literally watching a dude from Panera violently assault a group of citizens who are, are you perverts is what I want to know. Because I'm sick and tired of the perversions that I'm being blasted with when I try to bring awareness to a subject that is very important to this nation. You're getting your asses kicked and you're going to bring perversion into the space. That's narcissism. That's communism. That's a country divided. Because we don't know where to turn or who to trust. But I assure you, the one person that I've trusted the entire time of this whole nasty bullshit journey has been Trump from the very fucking beginning. From the very fucking beginning of all of this nasty shit, I've trusted Donald Trump. While you fight for your lives and support TRA and NY? Question mark. Inclusivity? You want an inclusive narcissist like Kamala Harris because she's got a JJ and because you're a weak woman and because Kamala Harris makes you feel like a weak woman and you want her acceptance. You want her to praise you so you tell her that you're going to tell her how wonderful she is so she'll give you some of that fake nasty narcissism all over you to convince you that you're a worthy person because that's what you're all chasing. That's narcissism. That's not confidence. That's Mona Van chasing her confidence because she's working with narcissists looking for validation. That's all narcissism. While she then abuses through her own lighter version I say lighter as in the earlier years of her narcissism. As she narcissists her and audience and everybody's becoming narcissists who don't give a shit about other people except for how many fans and followers they have while you cover up the reality that our border is open and we're a failing nation. Wow, we haven't even even started talking about foreign policy and how entire globe cannot stand Kamala Harris or Joe Biden and how Joe Biden is responsible for the Ukraine as well as for Israel. While we all know we're getting robbed in our faces, yet you won't acknowledge it fake news media, which means you're narcissists too. The world might be afraid of you at ABC and NBC at the power trip that you think you have, but I assure you, I too am not afraid of you either or going viral or being seen by millions of people with my face on your platform while you try to pick me apart while I retaliate with picking you apart with your analysis of what I have to say about who you actually are, which is an entire group of narcissists. Because that shit that they've done to Donald Trump is worthy of a jail cell. That's how horrible these people are. And that's how strong of a man, of an American, that Donald Trump is.